Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now let's join designer Lucy Harris for a look at her client's chic Chelsea loft. Lucy brought in bright furnishings and distinct lighting to give each area a sophisticated yet dynamic vibe that's perfect for entertaining. Hi, I'm Lucy Harris, an interior designer here in New York City. Welcome to this project that I designed for a client of mine in Chelsea. Every one of my projects is unique for each client. As a designer, I want their homes to reflect how they live. This client wanted a lot of color and pattern, so my job was to use color and pattern in a sophisticated way that wasn't overwhelming. I can't wait to show you around. Let's take a closer look. This space has a loft-like feel with an open floor plan. There's high ceilings and plenty of light. But I wanted to give each area its own identity and feel. My client loves to entertain, so she wanted everything to be fabulous, but not too formal. I really wanted the furniture to pop, so I kept the architectural finishes neutral. For example, I clad the fireplace in a gray glazed brick, yet it remains neutral. I had been dying to use the sofa from B&B Italia for years. It's called the Tufty Time, and it's super comfortable and fabulous. To soften the rectilinear lines of the architecture and furniture, I used an abstract pattern rug. All the colors here are bold and fun, from the turquoise blue to the pops of fuchsia. And they bring the space to life, which is what good design should always do. The dining area had to draw you in. This is an area that's usually defined by its table, but I went a step further with this dynamic, custom-designed light. It's made with a mix of metals, but every time you look at it, you see something different. It gives such energy to the space. Design is all about creating those moments that catch the eye. This whole project actually began with the kitchen, and then it just grew from there. We knew we wanted it to be white, but white kitchens can be boring, so we wanted to add some personality. I love big lighting. It gives a sculptural architectural element to spaces in an open floor plan. I love the hand-polished brass finish. It's an interesting contrast to the stainless steel appliances and polished nickel hardware. An added bonus is that they also reflect the skylight upstairs. Let's take a closer look. Because we couldn't hang a pendant over the stair, we used these polished brass sconces as an installation to draw you up. I love how they seem to flutter like birds towards the sky. This is probably the most eclectic area of the home. This is sort of a den, media room, another social space for the home. I source furniture, lighting, art, and accessories from all over the world. The coffee table is a 1960s Italian from Milan. It reflects people, art, and obviously the skylight. But what I really like about it is it creates a real sense of the infinite. The lamp is from a contemporary gallery in Paris. And I had the sofa made from a mid-century design and covered it in a blue mohair fabric, perfect for our clients' parties. The master bedroom had to feel serene, colorful, and soft, and of course, fabulous. I painted the walls a neutral gray-green and used the same color for the Roman shades. I used a bold palette of colors and repeated them throughout. Even this abstract wallpaper somehow feels peaceful. But let's face it, no fabulous bedroom is complete without an equally fabulous closet. Am I right? The client gave us free reign on almost everything, but the one thing she knew she wanted was this wallpaper. It's whimsical and fun and perfect for a closet. This was a dream project, but all design is a collaboration. My job is to reflect the owner's lifestyle in the decor. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this sophisticated, bold, eclectic home.